Hey guys, happy Tuesday. Let's try and resume some normal activity with my daily vloggings. I have sucked with it for the last couple of days. I've been doing bi daily vlogging. Obviously, I've been vlogging every day, but not enough to make a whole vlog, I don't feel anyway. So I have gone and done my weekly food shop. So I've gone to Aldi's, then I've gone to Tesco's. But I'm gonna show you what I got in Tesco's first because um, it's all frozen stuff and I want to quickly chuck it in the freezer. So it's not all frozen stuff, but the majority is. So I got a multi-pack of party rings for Holly because the big pack of party rings has gone back up to full price. This was a pound and I feel like it's a better way to portion them for her so she doesn't end up eating like a whole packet in one day, me included. So they were one pound. Then I've got her some of her yogurts. She absolutely loves the banana flavour. They think they are her favourite. She always asks for them. So we've got those as well. Um, got me some vegan stuff. So these were by three for four pounds or something like that. I think they would normally be one pound fifty each. So you're not saving, I think you're saving like 50p or something, or a pound. Yeah, you save three, four pounds, you're saving yourself a pound. So I picked up the four vegetable quarter pounders and they say vegan on them. Turn the light on, that might be better. So they say vegan on them. Then peanut and avocado burgers are what I tried in the barbecue. Chloe bought these for me, but unfortunately they got a bit cremated on the barbecue. So I'm going to give them another go, but in the oven. So those are also got the vegan sign on them. And then four Mexican style bean burgers. I think Aldi's have got something similar to this and they also have the vegan symbol on them. So I'll be looking forward to giving those a go. Um, they didn't have any white chocolate buttons, much to Holly's dismay. So she's wanting to try some brown chocolates a day so these are um the brown chocolate button versions so give those a go and then we've also picked up two packets of the corn vegan fish fingers or fish less fingers because they're on half price this week so they're one pound 25 instead of two pound 50 which i think is really good um i just noticed that the packaging is completely different but they are both vegan so yeah, that's all the stuff that we got from Tesco's and that came to £9.80 with a total saving of £1 for the vegan Tesco's own branded stuff. Okay, so now for my stuff that I got from Aldi's. I picked up a whole crate of almond milks, eight of them. I just can't seem to get the balance quite right of how much milk I'm needing to use. I bought four last week and then had to pop out and buy two more. Um, and now obviously Holly's back as well, so we're gonna be using more again. So I bought eight, which is eight pounds, which is a lot in my eyes, but I just don't know, obviously when there's some left over, then you just buy less the next week. So it should all balance itself back out nicely, but it seems a lot of money to me when you buy in dairy alternative milk um cotton pads i picked up these super soft seeded wraps and i checked the back of them and there doesn't seem to be anything in there that makes me believe that they're not vegan and i want to make some vegan burritos on friday hopefully just depends on what my plans end up being but that's why i bought those um, peppers, one, two, three, four, five, six punnets of nectarines, which probably seems pretty extreme, but because they're so cheap at the moment, um, this is a punnet of plums, which is like 95 pence versus a punnet of apricots, which is also 95 pence. I thought I'd just pick up some extra extra nectarines um, to bulk out my fruit assortment. Uh, 
um, a packet of kiwi fruit, which was also like 45 pence or something on the Super 6. Two packets of red grapes as per L standards. And four mangoes. These are also 45 pence at the moment in Aldi's on the Super 6, which is fab. So I absolutely love mangoes. Um, some everyday apples and they kind of look like the apples that I like. They look like Braeburns this time. So it says variety Mlois M W no M double L W A. Don't even know how to try and pronounce that. But they look yummy apples this week. Um, two more packets of the corn on the cobs. I've been absolutely loving corn on the cobs. It's like a sweet treat in the evening, stunning. And then a packet of salad tomatoes. Hay fever tablets. I'm not sure if they're vegan, but they are a necessity. So someone will have to let me know. Um, deodorant, just to back up my other one. Um, Multicoloured fizzy belts for Holly and fizzy strawberry lances for Holly. These are vegetarian friendly and if you check the back of the packet they're also vegan friendly so that's brilliant. Um, a packet of cooked beetroots for my salads and the cucumber for my salads. Sugar snap peas I love to just munch on as a snack. Onions. Sweet, absolutely adore sweet mash instead of using potatoes. And I love roasted butternut squash. So butternut squash only like 72 pence. Um, chewing gums, I, it was a packet of three. I've already opened a packet and put a packet in my handbag because I bought a packet last week, I'm sure, and just left it there because I couldn't find it, which is annoying. So I've been without chewing gum for the week, so I'm happy to have that back in my life. And, um, Iceberg lettuce, just as a staple. So we've got a packet of teddy bear crisps, which is already opened because Holly's had a packet with her lunch. And some organic mushrooms. They are the cheapest mushrooms for the amount of mushrooms that you get. And I don't understand how that works. So these are like 79p. Um, and you can have ones which are 75p for 50 grams less. So I always thought that I'd get the organic ones. So they work out cheaper. Buckwheat pasta. This was like £1.69 or something silly. So it's a source of protein. It's gluten free and it's low fat. And the ingredients in this are organic buckwheat flour 100%. So there's no egg, no nothing in there. The only thing I think Holly will struggle with is maybe the colour of the pasta. But um, if we can get past that, then that could be a winner. So that's going to be interesting to try. A bottle of squash, which is vegan because I've checked. And then we've got, I think we've got 18 bananas in total. So I got three bananas that are sort of like ready to be eaten. And then the rest are green turning yellow. Um, I've really struggled getting back into buying the correct amount of bananas after the whole raugus fiasco which didn't really work out for me and then some oranges i think these were one pound five but they're predominantly for holly she really enjoys those um a tin of kidney beans and a tin of chopped tomatoes and a tin of baked beans and that concludes the Aldi food haul. So in total I spent £44.38 in Aldi's and then £10, no £9.80, so £10 in Tesco. So that's £55 on a food shop, which is not, that's like £15 over budget really. Um, I don't, I can't see, like obviously I'm eating a lot of fruit and vegetables, but I can't really see, I don't know, it's, put like the burgers that I bought today, I won't be buying three packets of those every week, there's no way that that will happen, 
and then hopefully we can sort of like get to grips with how much milk that we need per week. I suppose that just varies on what you eat because there was one day last week where I had porridge for breakfast, porridge for lunch and porridge for dinner. So, you know, you don't normally do that on a daily basis. So it's just kind of hit and miss really. But yeah, hopefully we can try and bring that down again next week. Maybe, who knows. But anyway, see you all later. something really funny to tell you <clears throat> so i went into town today and had a coffee with chloe because we haven't had like a solo catch up for a while and um obviously holly was there as well so it was really nice and holly was telling her all about her holiday i think she told chloe more about her holiday than i got to hear i was learning new things and she told than she told me last night so that was really nice um so we went into town did what we needed to do came back to the car and um i was digging around in my in my bag for my keys i was like oh my god i think i've put my keys down somewhere in costa or goodness knows what i've done with them and i could sort of like see the car jigging and i heard chloe go what are you looking for Elle? i'm like my keys and she's like the car's open already and i was like how is that possible? And I stood up after like digging around in my in my bag and the keys were in the ignition. I hadn't even like left them on the roof of the car or dropped them down like on the floor or something like that. I had literally left my keys in the ignition of the car, left it parked for three hours, if not more, nearly just over three hours and nothing had happened nothing had been taken from my car there's like a, a micro scooter in the back there's loads of bags in the boots and phone chargers and everything like that holly's car seat is worth a fair amount of money um 
and nothing. It hadn't, my car had, <laughs> my car was still there, obviously, it hadn't been stolen. And I was just like, wow, that is insane. I was like looking around, see if anybody like left me a, like a letter or <laughs> left me a little sign or something to say that I'd left them the keys in my car. But that was a little bit insane. I was like, I can't believe I've just done that. So that was the most blonde moment I think I've ever had in my whole existence. I can't believe I did that. That was very, very lucky. Very, very lucky indeed. So I don't think I'll be doing that one again in a hurry, but how I managed to leave my keys in the ignition, I'll never know. I will never understand how I've managed to do that. So anyway, we popped into Tiger on the way back because uh, I think Chloe wanted to pick up a few like cocktail umbrellas um for like a party that she's doing um and I was just having a look around there's so many things you can buy in Tiger I try and avoid avoid Tiger at all costs because you just end up buying stuff which is lovely very very lovely stuff but you don't necessarily need because it's like stuff you don't really think about it's just like oh that's really nice that's really cute and because it's like relatively cheap you think oh it's not a lot of money I'll get it however saying that of all places, I've finally managed to find a cone. Now, if anybody's been watching my vlogs for a very long time, um, I had, maybe maybe even a year ago now, I had massive chemical breakage in my hair and I wanted to change all my hair regime. So I've changed all of that and I've completely swapped my hair products over to Lush hair products, which have worked absolute wonders for my hair. I mean, my hair's still it's still damaged at the ends it's going to be because I, I dye my hair so the ends are going to be over processed and obviously I don't get my hair cut often enough to keep that at bay because I have a slight um, phobia of the hairdressers not that I go to hairdressers anymore to get my hair cut so that phobia I would say has actually come down because obviously my neighbour does it for me now and she literally just trims it and she's done it for me maybe two or three times now um i'm i'm happy with what she does to my hair because i literally just get a box cut and then my fringe come cut back in so it's super simple and she doesn't charge me a lot of money either and she listens to exactly what i want like i wanted it cut fairly short the last time and she wasn't happy about it but she did it for me because that's what i wanted Whereas usually when I would go to the hairdressers, I'd say, oh, can I have a trim? And then they'd fucking butcher my hair and take it up to my shoulders. And that freaked, just, it freaked me out. And I just hated going to the hairdressers. Hence why at one point, I think I'd only had my hair cut twice in the period of like five or six years or something crazy like that. So I ended, managed to find, I wasn't looking for it. I just saw them, a comb, two combs. Now these both cost me a pound. So this packet was a pound, so that's 50 pence a comb. And this is the type of comb that I've been looking for for a very long time, because at the moment I'm currently using my mum's old comb, which loads of teeth have fallen out of. It has a high sentimental value because I remember having that comb. It was like a family comb um, when we lived in Scotland and it was from the body shop. And it's like a print that they never, they haven't done for probably a good 20 years. So that comb is, I would say it's probably as old as I am, maybe a bit younger. So if I'm 29, it's probably about 25 years old, this comb is. So I can just remember it for as long as I can remember. It's always been there. Um, and I kind of want to stop using it, not only because it's kind of like, it's a bit thinner um, spaced co uh, teeth like this, but I also don't want to break it anymore. I actually want, I know this sounds pathetic, but like that's, one of the few items I have that belong to my mum um, and I want to keep it and I want to go and put it in my memory box. I want to put it in a box of stuff of the few things I do have that remind me of my mum. So finding this, these for a pound is, has absolutely made my day because I prefer to have the wider toothed combs because it snags your hair less, or so I am told. That's what I've always learnt or 
herd. So that's what I've always tried to do. And I've been on the hunt for a decent comb for a very, very long time. And you'd look at all the places like Boots, Superdrug, um, where else can you buy comb from? Tesco, Sainsbury's, all of those sorts of places. Um, and I've never really been able to find one that I've wanted. Or if there has been one that I've wanted, it's been extortionally priced. And I'm talking about £12 for pretty much exactly the same thing as that. So I am super chuffed with my little purchase from Tiger. And they have amazing things in there. Kind of things that you don't really think of buying, which are really absolutely super duper useful. You're just like, wow, I, I've been looking for something like this or exactly this for a very long time. And then it's just like cheap really really cheap so i am chuffed to have this in my life so i'm going to put that comb i'm going to give it a clean and then pop it away so it can't be used or further damaged because of the reasons i've just stated really so yeah it's been an absolutely lovely day been out of the house for a very very long time and yeah i'm off now to watch Game of Thrones. I'm on season five. I think I might need to rewatch the episode that I watched last night because I was falling asleep a bit in it. Um, but I might just skim over it. And then, look what is on my leg. I hope that's a stain and not a vein because if that's a vein, I'm going to go ape. I have broken veins all over my legs and I've got varicose veins in both my calves and I'm not cool about it. It's not an attractive look. So if that's a vein that's popped up on the top half of my leg, then I'm not cool about that at all. I'm not even hot. So I can't see why that would be. I'm very conscious about my veins. Not very conscious about my veins, but I'm conscious that they're getting worse with age. Obviously they would, wouldn't they? Because they're getting weaker, but... Mm. So yeah, I'm going to get my grapes, get my Game of Thrones on, and then I'm going to go to bed. So I shall see you all tomorrow. Bye.